New tonight, a Charlotte man says COVID kicked his creativity to another level. Surprisingly, his vast book collection jumpstarts every unique piece that he makes. As Queen City News reporter John Lee found out, he is so prolific that he's running out of room at his house. Let's see, let's do... Hemingway once said, there is no friend as loyal as a book. Here we go. I have to see images like this. Well, Mark Milazzo has a lot of friends. Books and magazines, several thousand at least. Here's one of the uh, space shuttle. But this was cars of the 50s. He's not exactly a bookworm, though. Do you get much reading done? No, I don't read any of this stuff. I'm strictly cutting them out. I'm with you. He performs delicate surgery on all sorts of publications. It's a cutting edge art form he gravitated toward early in the pandemic. When we were all sitting at home, I started asking for magazines and books, and little did I know, uh, what it would turn into. Everything he chops up is the building block for what's called analog collage art. And I cut out Puck Footin. You heard him. People tend to uh, get tickled in their stomachs. This one features the Mona Lisa as Catwoman. So I cut their, their faces off to make a mask for Mona Lisa out of the cats. Here he and used I dozens of 1920s of hats. And, uh, this one's titled The Mad Hatter. Instant gratification of a finished piece quickly. I used to do pottery and ceramics, and collage affords me the opportunity to see the end result. I cut the engines out and made a family. So he kept slicing and arranging elements at a staggering pace. Uh, this was my first one that I had done, and it got such good reception, I figured I would do some more, so. Now he's up to 1,500 collages. <laughs> How much room do you have to store all this? Well, I mean, I have this house. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. People keep telling me you should try to sell it or post it, but I, I, I just, I'm more interested in making it. He's hooked on the feeling he gets from reducing pages to pieces that become something unpredictable. It evokes a feeling from them, a memory or something, and that's what I love the most. You might think he's a little out of control, Therein lies the purest passion. The end game for me is not to sell it. Yeah, it sounds a little crazy, and it seems like he wouldn't have it any other way. And then all my extra paper I burn in my backyard. In Charlotte, John Lee, Queen City News. So cool and so creative. You never know what you'd do with an exacto knife, yeah, right? I'm so yeah, so pure. I mean, just a pure mm -hmm. artist there. I mean, I get it because when, absolutely, once, once artist you, is right. Right. Once, once you sell it, people have an opinion. Mm -hmm. It's like he's just able to create his magic, and I mean, I just I, I think it's amazing. I mean, when you see some of his pieces, create there, a whole just, museum out yeah. of all, all that. So yeah. amazing. Yeah, and Mark posts many of his collages on Instagram. For a link to his work, head to this story on our website at qc not uh, qcnews.com, and maybe some of you want to buy some of those. Or just look at them. <laughs> or you just know? look at right, them. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome story, John Lee. Thanks for that.